Good evening and welcome to New Center Maine at 530. I'm Chris Costa. Thanks for joining us. Staffing shortages are affecting health care providers in other ways too. Some in Maine are not getting paid by Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield due to a software change at the insurance company. And hiring struggles are making that backlog even worse. Some providers are now facing a tough choice. Drop their Anthem patients or work for free until it's solved. We spoke to one social worker in Biddeford dealing with this problem who says the state cannot help. It's a calling, it's not a job. Rudy Skaronsky is trying to cut through the noise. This is about helping people heal from what's happened to them. His job is to help people who have suffered trauma, especially those with PTSD. I can support them in their pain, but I don't have a right to own it. And so that's what's kind of kept me doing this for the past 18 years. Dealing with insurance is part of this job. Not fun, not easy, but necessary so he can get paid and provide care for those in need. Now, his pay, his livelihood, is against the ropes. It's just the glitches that happen when things change. The change is with Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield. The national insurance company says it changed its provider data management system and is facing hiring challenges. That's causing delays. In Rudy's case, the new technology does not recognize his provider ID number. So they can't pay me, right, because I might be charging them fraudulently, right? Things don't match in their system. The difficulty is, is we're about four months in and they haven't been able to fix it yet. And he's not alone. The Maine Bureau of Insurance told him in an email that many providers in the state are facing this same problem. Anthem says it's prioritizing the processing of Maine's provider forms, applications, and claims. The company also said it hired new staff to focus on these items while deploying more resources to help the provider team in Maine. You know, it's not that it's a huge part of my income. It's about 20% of my income, but it wears on you financially. And I probably will get paid, but I don't know if it's a month, a week, a year, whenever Anthem fixes their computer. For now, Rudy says he'll keep those Anthem patients on for free and figure out the money later. His benevolence comes from a place of understanding due to a lack of therapists available right now. In good conscience, I can't just dump the people that I am providing care for into that market. Um, it doesn't sound fair. There's an interaction here that goes beyond the cash. Why? Because you do the right thing, right? Whether, whether or not it costs you as a person, you do the right thing. We reached out to the Maine Bureau of Insurance to confirm what they sent him in an email. They say they're looking into it. And at this time, we don't know exactly how many health care providers in Maine are dealing with this issue. We'll update this story as soon as we find out.